noted on it that a crosscut sled is a very important tool in the wood shop, and it's also very important that we have a nice square fence for accurate cuts. There are only two methods that I'm aware of that you can use to uh, calibrate a table saw sled fence to 90 degrees, and probably the most popular method is the uh, five cut method. The second method involves using a dial indicator and a square, and I've demoed that method in the past. So what I'd like to do today is just kind of do a head-to-head -head comparison of these two methods uh, from both a time perspective and an accuracy perspective, and just kind of see uh, which method comes out ahead uh, with, with regard to those two aspects. The purpose of this comparison is not to belittle uh, either method, but just to see which method comes out on top after an honest uh, review. So what I plan on doing is going through all of the steps that are involved in a five cut method on camera and uh, just kind of time it and see how long it takes. Then what I'm going to do is show you the method that I prefer to use, which involves using a dial indicator. And again, I'm going to go through the steps uh, involved in that process uh, again on camera. Okay, so now what I'm supposed to do is remove this screw. It's securing the fence. Move the fence the required amount. For argument's sake, let's assume that I'm moving this fence by the required amount. Put this clamp back on. Now I need to uh, countersink for a new hole because I've moved the position of the fence. And drill for a new hole. Now we got a Sink the screw in to secure the fence in their new position, assuming we have it in the right spot. Now all we need to do is redo the five cut method to make sure that we are uh, 90 degrees. If I'm not happy with the alignment of my fence, I need to remove the screw, move the fence to another position, drill for a new hole, and repeat the five cut method. So the process I'm gonna show you now involves using a dial indicator, and it uses very little uh, trial and error. So now that I'm certain that I have no movement in my dial, all I need to do now is put a clamp on the fence. And countersink for a hole. So if you're like me, you'd probably want to go back and check just to make sure that uh, you didn't move the fence in the process of driving in the screw. So let's go ahead and check. No movement in that dial indicator phase. 